I'm really excited about what I'm seeing in uh, restaurant marketing lately, especially on social media. The pictures are amazing. We're seeing incredible videos. It just seems like such a big budget production, though. Um, but I mean, what are some of the things that are are that you're seeing on social media in particular for restaurants? I think for restaurants now, it's it's so exciting. I think that the perception of having to have a huge budget is. It's just not true anymore um, with Instagram, with all these free social media platforms, with how amazing iPhones are. I mean, you don't. You can take absolutely gorgeous content just using phone. Someone on your staff can do that. And, you know, your customers are doing that. Everyone going into your restaurant can be doing that. So I think that you can get very creative nowadays with a small marketing budget. Mm -hmm. It's been a good strategy. Really, it's like how to execute all these things and make time and... It does seem really yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it does yeah. seem like yeah. now once you get it all together, then it's like most of the work is going to be done for you when it's done correctly mm -hmm. you know, with the public and selling yourself and your food. Make good food and you're golden. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It just it seems like social is just becoming more and more important. That you know, in the old days when you open a restaurant, there was just a lot of traditional um, media. Um, advertising that was used and and now it, it seems different it seems I mean how important are you seeing um, influencers on social media um, when huge. it comes to a restaurant oh absolutely okay. huge I think that you know most I would I would assume that most people follow at least someone who blogs yeah. about food mm -hmm. at this point and if you see that person go in and they're taking great photos even if the food is not incredibly pretty you know as long as it's a good photo and they're talking about their experience and you know that it was just you know nice to be in Personal there and, and yeah how many like times that's... have you sat on the bus or you're waiting in traffic or whatever you're doing you spend five minutes and you're like you see a food picture and you go down a rabbit hole because you're like oh that looks good you're like i know <laughs> what i'm gonna make for dinner now <laughs> you know like that or i have to try like, that place i mean yeah, i think that, that you know time. seeing that on social place. media is a um, hundred times more valuable than watching a paid commercial or seeing a billboard or a, a insert in a magazine i mean seeing someone that you you have a personal connection with them just by following them. Yeah. And mm -hmm. if they're saying, I went here and I liked this, then like... Yeah, it's more authentic. Yeah. Yeah. Right? When, yeah. You, when you see it. And what are some of the crazy mistakes that you're seeing restaurants make uh, on social media in their marketing? Not enough of it. <laughs> Not enough of it. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah that's like you're huge. doing something amazing and yeah. it needs to be seen. And you're like, huh, why don't I have people coming in? Or why isn't, you know, why don't I have a busy season? It's because... You're doing amazing things, but no one knows about it. Yeah, you know, I think it's, overestimating it's or underestimating mm -hmm. the power of social media nowadays, it's huge. I mean, mm -hmm. everyone from age, whatever the legal age is to be on Instagram, all the way to like 70 or 80 years old. I mean, you have the spread. They're all there. And thinking that, you know, it's just a platform that you're not going to get traction from is a huge mistake. And I also think another one, which I see far too often, is only focusing on super stylized, high-end food photography. Mm -hmm. And that's that's fine. Sprinkle that in. But that's not what people want to see. It needs to be more exciting. It needs to be real. It needs mm -hmm. to be, you know, every shot can't be a photo shoot. You can feel like if I go to that restaurant, I'm actually going to see food yeah, that looks like that. Yeah. And it wasn't just Absolutely. those crazy things you hear about, mm -hmm. you know, it was, it, where people are using, you know, gasoline as a, <laughs> yeah. as a sauce. Yeah. 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 Because it has yeah. a greater consistency. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, and, yeah. Those, those sort and of the people, fun. like the more that I see for myself, if I see like a bio on one of the chefs or the farms that they're using mm -hmm. or, you know, like connecting and making it feel more personal is like, oh, I got to go there. You know, think yeah, about it's like building it as an experience versus just a meal. Mm -hmm. And you can do that with social media. And you yeah. get a feel for the service too. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. You're adding that personal touch for people. Yeah. Yeah, because the service, I mean, if you want someone to return to your restaurant, the service is, it's without a doubt, one of the most important things. I mean, I will go places that I don't, the food's fine, but if I have a great experience there and if I know it's a fun place to bring people, mm -hmm. it's fun. like the food is not, I don't want to say not important, but it's definitely not as important as service. I it think seems that's to be something huge. Huge. And it's an art for a lot of really, people at the end yeah. of the day. It's like if you're a chef or if you're a baker or if you're a barista or whatever it is, Nowadays, those can become careers, and those are bigger passions for people. And so, when you go into a place and they remember your name, and they, you know, you can have a conversation with them or a wave or whatever it is, like that's huge. And 
not a lot of people, I mean, think about how many restaurants there are out there like that, and it's, the world doesn't really know about it. You know, it's a small town, so only like, you know, everyone that lives in the town knows about it, but, you know, to get traffic and have people travel to come see you is huge, yeah. and that can be like easily achievable. So how do you, yeah. when, when you are able to, and that's, and that's a difficult thing in and of itself, is, mm-hmm. you know, service really is probably your greatest form of marketing in order to generate yeah. word of mouth, but mm-hmm. assuming that you are able to deliver good service, how do you how do you portray that in your marketing? How do you how do you portray the vibe of the restaurant in your marketing? I think finding a voice, you know, that you talk to people through social media with is, is really important. Um, you want it to be welcoming, you want it to resonate with the kind of people that you want to come into your restaurant, whether it's a little Cuban cafe on the corner or whether it's, you know, a $180 stakeout on South Beach, you know, it doesn't matter. You have to find the voice and you, you know, through social media, through Instagram stories, through just normal posts, through all that kind of stuff, you give people a huge window into what you're doing there. And I think that's so important for people to, you know, remember as business owners is that Mm -hmm. there's so much competition and that's your unique way to say, Hey, like, come try me out. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned Instagram stories. Talk to me more about that. Instagram stories, I think. I mean, I look at Instagram stories more than posts Mm -hmm. now. I mean, I saw, I think that's become in the past couple of years, I've seen like a huge growth in that. I mean, I'll even for myself, like you're saying, like I'll, look at Instagram and then I'll watch like 10 stories in a row of the people that I love the most, you know, yeah. and like, or I follow, or, you know, like you can go to a hashtag and have, you know, a billion stories show up about that hashtag. And like, that just is like a web of its own. And then, you know, you, I mean, you look at posts, but you know, that's like one of the yeah. first things people do when they open yeah. up their phone. Well, and Instagram. I think now too, because the algorithm is so difficult, you know, you log on and you see a picture and if that picture doesn't immediately captivate you, a lot of people just click right to the stories. You don't scroll through posts. Mm-hmm. So having your stories out there is such an important way for your content to actually be seen because, I mean, Instagram is not in in the business owner's right. favor. They're not just going to, like, show your content for free anymore. I mean, for free, yes, but, you know, by doing stories, I think you're going to capture so much more of an audience. And a great example is there's a coffee shop near here. It's called Perk. They're in Tequesta. And... They do stories every day about, you know, new specials of the day. This cool event is happening Mm -hmm. tonight. We've got Mm -hmm. these singers here. We've got, and it's just such a great way to learn about what they're doing. Mm -hmm. It's very interactive. You have so many tools. You can swipe up for, you know, the link to the event. You, I mean, it's just like, it's endless. And stories are just so much more captivating. I mean, people are not... They're too bored nowadays. You need to like keep their attention. Yeah, action. <laughs> like if someone's singing yeah. on their phone, you can see that they posted, you know, two minutes ago that live video. Like that's what they're doing at that moment. For I mean, I'll, I think everyone can agree that's pretty cool. You yeah, know, yeah, that yeah, you yeah, connect definitely. that way. And what and Billy, you mentioned hashtags. How important is choosing the right hashtags for your posts? I mean, I think there's a huge science behind that. You know, if you can have the right hashtag and the right combination it's like algebra you know like (laughs) you have the right set of hashtags for the right audience and you can find all those things in one I mean it's limitless who you can reach and you can really dial it in by you know using certain words or how many or you know like tagging and like there's a whole combination with hashtags that you can bring together that can be extremely powerful yeah, and Instagram will give your post more credit if your hashtags are more relevant to what you're mm-hmm. posting about. Mm-hmm. So that's another thing that we always talk about is trying to find that formula, trying to find the percentage of, you know, how many hashtags should be generic, how many should be really niche for your post, like how many should be based on your location. So It's totally custom. And for food and restaurants, I mean, that's there's so many possibilities. It's a really kind of exciting thing to play around with. Like any marketing, right? It's, mm-hmm. it's part art and part science. Yeah, it's like doing Sudoku or like <laughs> any of like the crosswords. <laughs> like, you just got to figure it out. Yeah, it's like it turns the brain wheels and then you get when you figure it out and it works, you're like, yes! <laughs> 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 